Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and today we are going to take a bit of an overview look at Aquila ukulele strings. So, there's quite a few different types here and not all of them will be relevant to you. Some of these actually are not necessarily relevant to anybody anymore. Let me explain why. The first type of string that we're going to look at today is the most popular Aquila string. This is known as New Nile Gut. This is an Aquila technology, Nile Gut meaning nylon gut. It's a synthetic material, uh, usually coloured white. If it's here in this packet, it should be coloured white. And that will be the string that 90% of you had on your first ukulele. Unless you've been playing more than 10 years, in which case it may have been something different. But uh, Aquila have found a place in the market that no one else really has. They've managed to get their string on pretty much every ukulele under £300. Um, this probably goes back to the earlier days of the ukulele boom, where players were going on ukulele forums or review websites popped up, and quite rightfully said that, I bought this ukulele, um, but it just doesn't sound as good as it could, and I, I managed to get a set of these Aquila, Aquila, that's another point I'll bring up in a second. Aquila, Aquila strings, and they're fantastic. They've improved the intonation, the ukulele sounds better. All of that was true. And a good setup would have also remedied the problem. So Aquila, in their own way, managed to find a shortcut for manufacturers where they wouldn't necessarily have to try as hard getting the instrument out the door to get a better string um, a better sound from a better string. So if you have ever tried black nylon strings or clear nylon strings uh, and then compared them to Aquila's, you'll know that the nylon string is very stretchy. So a uh, beginner's ukulele with nylon strings, by the time it left the factory the strings were still stretching and quite often they never found their, uh, their place. Whereas the Aquila's you pop them on and within a couple of days the ukulele is harmonically resonant and happy with itself so nile gut is a fantastic material if you want to get the best out of a cheaper instrument and some high-end instruments there's no doubt but that brings me on to the negatives there are negatives about nile gut strings uh, they do have a tendency to make a lot of instruments that should sound very different sound the same now i a few years back I did a test for a customer where I recorded a ukulele that was £800 with Aquilas on and I recorded a ukulele that was £100 with Aquilas on and they could tell the difference between the two when I switched back to the fluorocarbon strings that was on the £800 ukulele originally they definitely preferred it and ultimately it convinced them not to put Aquilas on that ukulele anymore so Nile Gut has its place but if you're finding that it's a little bit underwhelming, don't be afraid to try something new. And Aquila probably know that <laughs> because they keep producing new types of string. And um, I believe the chap called Mimo, the man, the kind of mad professor that owns, runs and designs Aquila strings from Italy, uh, he can't stop making new strings and tinkering with his formula. Hence why this is known as New Nile Gut because it proceeds the original Nile Gut string, which I honestly could never tell the difference between the two, but Mimo obviously can, and these are very good strings to get you going. These will be the strings that if someone at your ukulele group goes, oh, you know, that sounds a bit rubbish, I'll tell you what, you want to get a set of those Aquila strings. That's the strings they're talking about, unless they tell you otherwise. So that's new Nile Gut. I'm going to have a sip of my drink, and we'll start on the next one. Okay, so the second set of strings here, you've heard of New Nile Gut now, we've just talked about it at length, but what about Super Nile Gut? Now Super Nile Gut is a strange material in itself. It's slightly different to your standard Nile Gut string, but where does it come from and what makes it so super? Well, the official story for this is the upgraded version of our famous Nile Gut Super Nile Gut string has a charming natural pearl colour and a very smooth and polished surface feeling. It's less stretchy than any previous version of Nile Gut, stable and quicker to tune when new. 
Supernalga is stronger and does not suffer damage from sharp edges of the nuts or marks from frets or nails. That's the official version, and that is all true. But my understanding of where Supernalga originated is with Canalea ukuleles, or Canalea, if you're um, getting upset by my pronunciation. I'm terrible. Is it Aquila? Is it Aquila? Does it matter? Mimo doesn't mind if I call it Aquila. So Supernaga is all of those things, but the origin of it lies with Canalea ukuleles. I believe that uh, for about 15 years now, Canalea are the kind of first and now probably the only Hawaiian ukulele brand to use Aquila as their string of choice. But with the issues that Nunalga and Nalga causes, um, comes that kind of plasticky, um, kind of cheaper sound and I know Kanalea liked the look of the white strings on their Koa ukuleles so they talked to Aquila about developing a new set for them that later evolved into these Super Nile Gut strings but before these became commercially available I used to see these strings on the Kanaleas. Now I'm going to do a little zoom in while I'm talking on the Super Nile Gut string against the new Nile Gut string and you'll see it's slightly different in colour but honestly you've got to be a little bit of a magician and a little bit magic to know the difference. Um, I can only really tell the difference by feel. I mean, they really are smoother. So if you're finding that you like to move up the fretboard a bit quicker, um, then I think the Super Nile Gut's probably more for you than the Nile Gut, which can feel a little bit sticky by comparison. Um, but yeah, I, I love Super Nile Gut. The other ukuleles that I've seen use these in the past uh, include uh, Eastman, um, some of the... For a short while, a couple of Martin ukuleles came with them. Uh, Maton, Maton. Uh, yeah, I mean, quite a few brands have trialled these strings and deemed that they are worthy of their instruments. So give them a try if you've not tried them before. I like the Super Nile Guts. They've definitely got their place in the market. And for the one pound difference between these and normal Nile Gut strings, I do find that they stay fresher for longer. So. If you like Aquila and you've never tried the Super Nile Guts, maybe that should be your next uh, your next string change. And moving quickly on to the... While on the subject of Super Nile Gut, let's move quickly on to the Aquila Lava brand strings. Now these are the same string as the Super Nile Gut strings, but they are dyed a kind of dark charcoal colour. Um, the Aquila packet says, a grey black string coloured with a touch of mother of pearl inspired by volcanic rocks. Our new lava series, naturally inspired by, by volcano and Hawaiian symbol of new life, is our respectful homage to the Hawaiian people who made the ukulele worldwide famous and share their happiness with thousands of people all around the world. The lava series strings maintain the same identical mechanical and sound properties of our famous white pearl super nile gut string. This is all true. Some people just hate the look of the white strings. If you hate the look of the white Aquila strings but love how they feel and sound, then the lavas are the string for you. So we've covered these. Let's talk about the Aquila Red strings. The Aquila Reds are the most divisive Marmite string on the market. When they first came out, I remember vividly tearing what I had of my hair at the time out with Rob the owner of the shop and Paul who used to manage the shop before me because every single person who bought a set of these Aquila Red Strings found that the first batch they snapped within a few days. Now this has improved over time but these strings have kind of been labelled as the string that you know if they work for you keep using them but if they snap quickly once don't try them again. We, we keep doing the Reds despite their reputation because there are some players out there that can make a set last for two or three years, which is crazy when you consider that most ukulele strings alone should probably be changed if you're playing daily, uh, kind of after eight to 12 months. Uh, the Red strings are a bit different to the standard Nile Gut and the Super Nile Gut. They have an, almost like a, like a, sl a slight resistance on the fingers when you play them. And sound-wise, they're ever so slightly mellower than the normal Aquila strings. Uh, when they first came out, they were very, very popular for jazz players. Anyone playing a tenor in low G would give these a try. They were, and continue to be, a good alternative to something like the Worth Brown strings, or a Polygut string, which I'll talk about shortly. Um, Aquila themselves, though, describe these strings quite differently to how I 
audibly hear them and choose to recommend them to people. Aquila like to say that these strings have a unique feeling and a strong consistent sound. Until recently it was necessary to increase a string's gauge to get a lower pitched tone. Our revolutionary new approach changes the specific weight of this material, increasing it progressively to leave the gauge almost unchanged. The result is amazing. Instruments sound brighter, more powerful and more responsive through the entire range of the fretboard. So that's probably why they're a little bit more prone to snapping. If you tune up to pitch and you've got a string that's slightly higher tension and you play with any kind of force, then you're going to find that the string is uh, in slight turmoil. Uh, it can sound fantastic, but I uh, personally disagree with uh, Aquila's own description and the purpose that they feel these strings belong to. I mean, they are good strings, but they are certainly better for a mellower player. Um, give the reds a try once, and like I said, the rule is, you know, if you try them and they snap within the first couple of days, then they're probably allergic to your ukulele. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're not a perfect string, but like in the guitar world where you get players that love silk and steel strings and some people that only use um, nickel wound strings against steel wound strings, you know, it's horses for courses. Everyone's got their own preference, their own sound and what they want to hear from their ukulele. And this could be it. Okay, so let's talk about the Aquila sugar strings. This is the newest thing that Aquila are doing and we love them. Uh, I personally use these on my ukulele. Um, they have their faults like any string, but they are truly unique. They don't feel quite like a fluorocarbon string. Uh, the reason for the name sugar comes from how they're made. They are made like a bioplastic string that's derived from sugar cane. So it's a completely unique feel, a completely unique sound. It's bright like a fluorocarbon string, but it has some depth to it. I highly recommend these for the low G because the wound strings are wound over that sugarcane material and I find that they have more sustain than a kind of classical guitar style wound string. Um, Aquila described these as being, these give the ukulele brightness, very similar to fluorocarbon strings, promptness of attack, amazing sustain, great and powerful dynamic timbre and a very easy vibrato and that, that's all true. I mean I'm not the most expressive player in the world but I do play a lot of finger style and I find that these strings are amazingly balanced and they ring out just so well. If you have a solid wood ukulele and you want some, want to try something that has some kind of, I want to say some kind of eccentric character to it, you know, it makes your ukulele sound old and new at the same time. Give, give these some, a try. I mean, they say as well on the packet that they have very low moisture absor absorption. I think the stability um, kind of under humidity changes isn't something that I've had to experience and I've had no customers comment on this but these are supposedly a string that can handle kind of traveling so if you are going traveling soon as a lot of our customers are and you're buying a uke perhaps try these strings I mean these have not these have not been out that long so I have less to say about these than some of the others but the sugar strings if you currently use something like a Martin Savarez or a Daddario fluorocarbon string then these are worth a try too slightly different texture and the downside to these strings is that the first few days after you put them on they squeak so when you run your hand up down, up and down the fingerboard you get a really nasty high pitch it's almost like they're treated with something uh, to keep them fresh um, and then maybe it's that um, maybe it's the moisture on your fingers or something like that I don't know but after a couple of days that wears off and I actually found that using a little bit of guitar polish the, when I first put them on for a customer the other day actually got rid of the problem almost instantly that would be the only reason not to try these uh, I suppose unless you're a really really mellow player and you want to be the quietest person in the room these are these are very good strings and they really suit any ukulele give them a try okay so we're going to touch on the carbon blacks now this ha this is a string that we've sold quite a few of over the last couple of years but they are now sadly discontinued the carbon black is uh, Aquila's attempt at a black fluorocarbon string, so a mellower, jazzy string. Um, Aquila like to, I, th I think it's probably a promotional thing, they like to say that their sugar strings aren't fluorocarbon, their carbon blacks are not black fluorocarbon strings. Um, but I think these are 
about as true to a dark fluorocarbon string as you can get. I mean, I, I put these recently on a, um, uh, an Imua ukulele that I have, and I found that it just really warms the whole thing up. So if you want a kind of traditional Hawaiian sound, I, these might be worth a try. You might not see these in shops for very long, you know, as of October 2018 when I filmed these. I mean, we've got maybe half a dozen sets left of each, but fear not, because if you like them, these strings now appear under a different guise. I get the impression a uh, handshake deal went on with Martin, and these strings are now being made exclusively for Martin. Um, made in Italy, packaged in Mexico is what it says on the back of the packet and has even uh, developed exclusively with Aquila logo on the string packet there. So these are now known as a polygut string. Um, if you want the codes for them it's M605 or M610 but basically the same string, just a new incarnation of it. Give it a try. I mean it's a slightly mellower alternative to the sugar strings. Um, these probably served as a Quila stepping stone to getting to a fluorocarbon string, even though they don't call it a fluorocarbon string. Anyway, yeah, polygut or carbon black as it used to be known. Okay, so there is one set of strings left in the Aquila catalogue that I can do for you today. This is the Audrey Guerrero signature set. Now, those of you that were hoping I'd be doing bio nylon, I'm sorry, but here in the UK, we've not been selling the bio nylon strings for probably five years. I'm not even sure if they're still in development. I haven't done a lot of research from outside of the UK. I'm sure they're decent strings, but the times we had them in stock, no one wanted them, and uh, we were a little bit underwhelmed by them. So we're going to talk about this instead. The Audrey Guerrero set is a green nylon string. It feels like a clear nylon string and sounds like a clear nylon string. And when you fit them to the ukulele, it stretches like a clear nylon string. Sound-wise, though, it's slightly deeper. It's got a bit more bass to it. Uh, they say on the packet that Audrey Guerrero and Aquila went back and forth for three years developing this set. And I can see why. They're the perfect set for a strummer. I wouldn't necessarily say that they are the best set for a finger picker. If you, if you like to play finger style then perhaps look at a fluorocarbon string or even a nile gut string these strings have a lot of attack but not a great amount of sustain so if you're even if you're someone maybe like a form b style player these might be a good choice for you um i don't know what Audrey guerrero uses these for i've played i've seen him play a few times and i found him to be very much a hard strummer you know like a, almost like a flamenco style guitar player and that makes loads of sense when you try these strings uh, but if you're a slow player or somebody that likes to kind of linger on a note for a bit too long, these probably aren't the strings for you. Okay, so that was the bulk of the Aquila string catalogue. Um, thank you all of those that have been asking for this video for a while now. I needed the... I needed someone else's enthusiasm to get around to it. I love talking about ukulele strings, but Aquila do such a vast array of strings and there are such similarities between them. Hopefully you can see now why I stalled on it for a little while. I didn't want to give you guys a bad video and I wanted to give you good information. Um, hopefully I have this time and if there's any other strings you want an in-depth description of, don't hesitate to leave a comment. As you can see, I read the comments and when I get time I get around to responding and fulfilling those videos. Um, yeah, if you have any questions otherwise, you feel free to email us at shop at southernukuladestore.co.uk uh, or you can give us a call on 01202 430820. I believe I have a direct email now at the shop, which is alex at ukulele.co.uk. Uh, yeah, I've been Alex anyway, and I look forward to doing another video again soon. Take care.